Just waiting for a giant, like, panda bear. Hey! Come out. You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! And he'd be like, hey, hey, hey. You all gotta kill someone so I can have a trial. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the similarity so far is, is wonderful. Um, I'm digging this. I'm really digging this. Uh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> all the dots. Hmm. Even more dots. <laughs> Yet even more dots. <laughs> And just more dots. Everyone's full of dots today. Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Yeah, I hope so. Because if you didn't have any questions, I would very be suspicious of you for not having any questions. <laughs> That's a good question. What's the nonary game? What's it for? Those are good questions. Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? That's not one of the questions I'd be concerned with. I'd be just a bit more concerned with getting the heck out of here. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? Yeah. You know, I watch, uh, I I'm a huge fan of the Saw movies and uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about, okay, so what evil did these people do? And why did they do it? Uh, there's that one Saw movie. Uh, I forgot the one, but it's uh, the five people who all have to like work together to pass each room. And of course they don't. So every single room gets harder and harder and harder. And I'm thinking a lot like that. And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? Why is it that you only seem to know one person on the ship and everyone doesn't know anyone else? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Yes, I agree. Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do with this... this zero set. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. That's not a bad idea, but we are under a clock. And if this guy did think of anything or everything, there is no way for us to leave unless we play his game. So I'm not sure if that's worth wasting valuable time, but it is a good idea. I will admit, why play a psycho's game? We, what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Oh. Whoa! This place is flooded. What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. So someone's controlling how much it floods? Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. That's really devious. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Or to rise bit by bit every hour. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful <laughs> thinking. That's true. <laughs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Okay. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open, either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. 
bash it open. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Yeah, you go, guys. Oh, that looked like it hurt. It won't budge. Good try, though. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? <laughs> you almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's... Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> All the dots. A key, huh? You got a problem? Well, where are we gonna find a key? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. Yeah, I mean, I played... Well, I never actually fully played Resident Evil, but I remember playing the first hour to Resident Evil. And I remember that place was full of... Actually, I played Resident Evil 7. I played Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 7, there were a lot of doors, a lot of keys, and yeah, that was problematic. I remember, <laughs> I remember going like three fourths of the game without realizing that I could have gotten the shotgun like four hours ago because of all the dumb keys and doors. I really enjoyed Resident Evil 7 though. That was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm so interested in Resident Evil 8. One of these days I'll have to go back and actually play all the Resident Evils, but anyhow. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. All the dots. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. <laughs> and there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It's a cross with a ribbon? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. Uh, K? It's an astrological symbol. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know astrology, but that does look like an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. Oh. We saw the same symbols on A deck. What were they? Did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. Yeah, let's see that. What are we gonna find? There! The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. That's She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. Er. Okay. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Okay, I know what those are. That makes a little bit of sense. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered, in other words. No way out. We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. The four and the five. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. Possibly, but we'd have to be crazy just to sit here and do nothing and let us all die. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. I agree. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. Sorry. But shouldn't we at least try? Yes, we should. We, don't we need know to get what out of here. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Yes, it is. Uh, all the dots. Exactly, all hey, the dots. shut up. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. Which is? What's that? We need to exchange information. Oh, yeah, we don't know each other yet. We don't know anything about each other. 
I want to know who you guys are. It's actually kind of smart. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. What do you mean? Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Uh... Oh, would that be bad? Yeah. Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. I think he probably knows a lot about us if he captured us all. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. I don't know. Uh, watching the Saw movies, uh, Jigsaw knew everything about his targets before kidnapping them. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Yeah. And what are we going to call you? Uh, Beanie Apple Head? Or Yellow Overalls? All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. S why? Seven? Why are you seven? Is it because you have a bracelet that says seven? Yeah. Because this bracelet number says seven. That's very original. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll call us all by our numbers. It's weird. All right. I'm going to be Santa. Santa? What? Oh, how, how are you Santa? Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, okay. don't you think? Yeah, I, I I understand it now. Okay. It makes sense. It It's not what I would have done, but it makes sense. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well, then. I'll go next, shall I? Sure. My bracelet number is one. Okay. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Actually, I dig that. I think that's a really cool name. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Ace. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Uh, I thought Lotus is at four. Oh, wait, that's four leaf clover. Never mind. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is eight. eight. No, I actually don't know much about Lotuses. I'll have I to would look at a picture later. It if you would call me Snake. Snake. Why? Is your number two? Yes. My bracelet number is two. Snake eyes. When you roll a dice and you get double ones. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Wait, what? You're blind? You can't see? I knew it. You knew it? Me next! I want to be Clover. Oh, you must have the four then because I already made that mistake you earlier. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Yeah, I, I, I get it. All right, my number's five. So my code name is going to be... Uh, Sin or Cinco in Spanish? Is it Ich Ni San Go Voku? Ich Ni San Yo Go... God, it's been so long since I took Japanese. Why well, have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. Why? I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. She's got a point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, all the dots. What's your bracelet number? It's six. All six. right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? Aw, Junpei and June. Ain't that cute? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year, so you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Aw, it's adorable. Okay then. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is... And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. Seven is seven. That's just so... You know, weird. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. <laughs> this guy's awesome looking. 
He's so animated. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <sighs> All the dots. <laughs> even more dots. What number are you? Mm. Yeah, even more dots. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What are you gonna call you? What's your code name? Uh, code name? Yeah. What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. Right. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Okay, yeah? what's your plan? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah? Yeah? All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay back. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Hold on. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. No, dude. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <sighs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. Uh, what is he doing? The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? Yeah. It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and four one. And one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. You Only need three, three to five, five right? people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now... I can get out of this nightmare. Good! I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Okay, remember when I said that maybe my new favorite character? Scratch that off. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Yeah. Uh. 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 
Ugh. Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Hear what? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You... you lied! You lied? Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen! I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! Who? It was him! He killed me! It was him! Are you talking about Zero? Uh, 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 Ah! Whoa! <sighs> what was that? All the dots. Yeah, all the dots is right. <sighs> Even more dots. A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Oh, so we can actually choose if it's Ace and Lotus, Nick and Seven, Santa and June. Um, me personally, uh, I'd rather stick close to the one person that I know, which is June, because I don't really trust any of these other people, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with Santa and June. Santa and, uh, um, June. Uh, you think you could give me a hand here? <laughs> All the dots. Hmm. Even more dots? Five plus three plus six is 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four, equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Do we have to go oh my in? God. Good God. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He he blew up. Oh, the red stuff. I just realized the door opened in to out. So that red stuff isn't the number. That's his blood. Oh my Jesus. Ah! Holy. Nightmare. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh. All the dots. All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Why? <laughs> Why did this happen? Why did this happen? I... Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, that's a good question. Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> All the dots. Another hour has already passed? It's 10 o'clock then. Oh man, that's that like means a... it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. And we've made zero progress. And we've Fuck! lost someone. I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero is going on about is- Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Yeah. All the dots. <laughs> Blood. Oh. Everywhere. Blood and pieces of flesh. <sighs> That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> I think he just screwed up. 
He probably set off some sort of trap, and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive! <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. What do you mean? Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. What do you mean? Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Which rule? <sighs> All the dots. Yeah, uh, I'm with him. All the dots. You still don't... <sighs> Alright. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? Had to be three to five people to open the door. He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> All the dots. Zero said that only two people can go through. That everyone who verified everyone who verified had to go. Oh, so the the guy only he he's the only one that went through the door and since no one else went through the door that verified he he broke the rules huh see i want to have you remember that the only reason i know this is the right answer is because i know that's not the right answer and i know that's not the right answer because it clearly says only three to five people can go so these are both wrong uh so yeah it had to be this one all those who enter must leave and all who enter must contribute right uh I think it was something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Whatever it was, it it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Thank you. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? No. There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... You seem to know way too much about this, Snake. That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. See what? Oh, this it's is Braille. Braille. Hmm. Sorry guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. That makes sense. Um... Everyone's given a letter, but since he's blind, he would need to have some different type of letter, but his letter would say the same as ours, though. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. Okay, please do. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. Red, dead, and bracelet. Okay. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. Uh... But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and the people who you are about to meet. Oh, that's horrible. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found its way to your small intestine. Ew. In other words, you would be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. 
As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse, or timer, for the dawn in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. Oh, <laughs> 81. No, no, any number um, is 9, right? Digital number is 9. Again, the number 9. Continuing on. 999. Nine, nine. If out by time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the ball of your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red has also verified their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you had passed through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. Again, the number 9. So long as the door is open, the day will not function. You will do well to remember this. Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. Huh. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the back side of the world's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off, or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. Well, thank you for telling us. I appreciate it. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, oh, shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! Uh, they, they, he said that wouldn't work. There's a bomb inside me. Oh. All the dots. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right. I'm going to ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? No one seems to know. Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. We saw the same thing. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Yeah, I saw that too. Mm -hmm. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, Are you holding that's good back? enough for now. Yeah, he seems suspicious so, about that. I have a question. I, uh, sus him. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. Oh. Siblings? Uh, yes. 
Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Oh ho! That really so hard to understand? No, that's that's fine. She is correct, of course. Are you uh, surprised? Mm. Well, yeah, but why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? You went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Okay, well, what do we all have in common? Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell? Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Well, you came to that conclusion pretty quick. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Yeah, and all this uh, hypothesizing over what's going on is just making me more suspicious of everyone else in this room. This probably isn't a good idea. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Ten thirty. I thought we were finished time. with that topic, but then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my God! Enough! All we're doing is talking. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. I agree. You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure, not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, we have to for now. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all worked. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. Most likely, yeah. Yeah. But. But what? Who's going to go in which door? Well, oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. We're just gonna have to work it out mathematically. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait, I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> And we were doing so well. <laughs> Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. If you think wow. I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. Wow, dude. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So, doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Why don't you say the truth, which is I don't want to go into door five because that's really creepy. Fine. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! It's... If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. Wow. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? What do you mean? Seven is seven, oh. and snake is two. The uh, the digital root. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Let's see, eight. Plus three, plus six, plus five. Eight plus three is 11. 
plus six is 17 plus five is 22. Two plus two is four. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? Yeah, I already just did this. It's four. All right? 11, uh, 17. Wait. Can I not do math? Eight plus three is 11. 11 plus six is 17. 17 plus five is 22, which is four. Yes. Eight plus three plus six plus five is 22. The digital root of 22, two plus two equals four. Good. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. Yeah, it did. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. I don't blame you. I mean, she's should already been like sick, right? And go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... which door? Oh, I actually get to choose. Okay, this is kind of cool. So we can decide that door four would be fine, or we decide that we can go through door five. Well... What do I want to do? Um... <clears throat> Junpei said... So he wants to investigate the body and he wants to look at it a bit more however june is the only person we know and maybe staying close to people you know is better than going off with complete strangers at this point because we don't know who we're dealing with but then again do we trust the people to go through that door to be able to search the body I think what you should do is you should probably stick close to June in this instance. Because I mean, they, they, they have an attraction, right? I mean, it's kind of obvious. Uh, they like each other. Uh, they were childhood sweethearts, possibly. Um, and if they're not childhood sweethearts, obviously, uh, he definitely wants to be. Uh, but yeah, we want to get out of here alive. And if we want to get out of here alive, him saying that searching the corpse would be a good idea. And Snake's going through door five and he's blind. So that's meaning that, you know, he could be taken advantage of as well. Part of me wants to go through door four with June. Um, because the game obviously seems to want you to do that. Uh, but the other part of me is thinking what Junpei said, which is we want to search around that room a bit more. But then I have to look at that horrible bloodbath. Um, but we're trying to get out alive. Okay, what's my old theory? My old theory, if you ever watch me play RPGs or other games, I always like to say left is right. You always want to go left first before you go right. I don't know why that is. It's just I always found growing up as a kid, whenever I was playing an RPG, if you went along the left path first, usually you found a treasure and then you go back to the right path and you found the boss. Um, that's probably not true. It's just something that I got in my head a long time ago. And because door number five is on the left, I'm going to go to door number five. I know that sounds crazy, but left is right. So left is always good. Uh, five. Hey, wait. I want to go through door five, too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If 
you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. No, you can't. I, I can't take you with me. Why? We're... Well, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Well... Please, let me go into door five. Man, now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet is number five, right? If we are going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. Ace, please, take good care of Clover. Oh, all right. That's... that's fine. Don't go away! You need to listen to me, Clover. Go to door four with the others. No! Don't be so selfish. W why? You'll be fine. Just relax. Yeah, June will take care of you. Actually, I need you to take care of June. All the dots. Hmm. Huh. What did he tell her? Okay. I understand. Hmm. All the dots. Let's make sure we've got this straight. Those going to door five are me, seven, and snake. Seven plus two plus five equals 14. And the Which digital root of 14, one plus four, is five. Correct. And those going to door four are Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. There's five people there, so I know June will be taken care of. Eight plus three plus six plus one plus four is 22. And, two and the digital root of 22 is two plus two, four. We're okay with this. No problems here. Yes. Let's do it. All right, then. Oh, that's cool. The lever's like all that. that's left. Okay. All right, then. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Please be careful. You too, June. We will. Into door and five we it's go. open. Oh. That's messed up. Yeah. That, that was the ninth man. Hey, don't we have the dead to look for? 81 oh. seconds, right? How can you... Well, do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Uh, sorry. Let's go! Uh, damn it! The countdown started! Gotta find the dead. Gotta find the dead. Come on, let's Shit, go. The door! There's no turning back now. And if we don't manage to find the deactivation device... Hey, where is the dead? How the hell should I know? Stay calm. Look around. Okay, okay, uh, I get it. Ah, oh, found it. Right here. Ooh, that's good, because we only had two people who can actually see in this group. Ooh, uh, all the dots. Uh, even more dots. Uh, Get to even more ooh, dots. Uh, well, it looks like it stopped. Goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. Jumpy, are you all right? Yeah, we're fine. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. All right, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. I kind of like how the voices are muffled because they're speaking through a door. It's a cool little touch. And they're gone now. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.